Coach Jimmy here, we are at CrossFit Beach. Squat challenge, four days in a week. Two days on, one day off, two days on. Today is the last day of that, but uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we've done over the past week and uh, show you a little bit into today and then hopefully here in a second, I'll get Chip back here to kind of explain this program. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been taking private CrossFit lessons from Chip Phillips. Morning live this is from the CrossFit man. Deep Ellen. My background's not in CrossFit. I don't consider myself a, a really accomplished CrossFitter or um, lifter uh, as far as Olympic lifts go, even squats, deadlifts, you know, obviously clean and jerk snatches. All those things are super out of my comfort zone. So um, <clears throat> I kind of make a habit of trying to get out of my comfort zone. Set one. Yeah, not, we're not, heavy. yeah, we're not gonna have a super set. Okay, I'm not, <laughs> my ego doesn't care. So I've been working with Chip for about a year now, and one thing we're realizing is a lot of people know me as Jimmy with the good squats from Insanity. Run back here to Jimmy, because he has that good squat. Jimmy has that good squat. We're finding out, Jimmy's squats weren't that great and had a lot of room for improvement when it came to lower body strength and even just learning how to maximize the potential of my lower body. I've always been pretty thick in my lower body. Right, set number three. Accelerate the bottom. Good. That's what happens when you're 100 pounds overweight for most of your life. Uh, you carry around a lot of weight, so I've always um, had ample backside and legs. So not long ago, Chip said, hey, we should, uh, we should accelerate this leg strength. Good. Looking strong, man. Well, hello, world. This is this looking is, good today. Thanks. This is Chip <laughs> Phillips. Um, it's called Slow Love Junior. Um, basically, one of Jimmy's limiting factors on not only running, but primarily the CrossFit movements, thrusters, wall ball, clean, um, just the ability to stand up with weight is limited by his leg strength. And we've kind of been putting off a very focused, concentrated squat cycle for a while because he's so interested in a wide range of fitness and being very balanced. But it kind of got, finally got to the point where we're like, we're very limited by his leg strength. No, the last one's great. Probably take your shirt off though. If I take my shirt off, does it make the set better? Yeah, yeah, okay. it's much better. <laughs> That's what I meant by strength and aggression. <laughs> Good, man. And what's really cool is, you know, all the home workouts I've done with Beachbody, specifically P90X, P90X2, Insanity, Asylum, Insanity Max 30, Body Beast, and a week of hard labor um, have really prepared me to be able to even do this, you know, to come in and obviously I have a long way to go. It's not like I come in here and I'm super proficient in it, but I feel like I'm more prepared because I invested in those home programs and did them for so many years that I can jump into an unknown commodity like this and uh, at least tread water pretty well. Those knees out, let's go. Way to finish, way to finish. So we are hitting it hard four days a week, 70 to 85 percent range, and um, huge volumes. Um, huge volume. It's, it's an intense cycle that is not super maintainable. So you, you kind of smash it into three weeks, and then you follow it up with lower volume, higher intensity stuff as well that can create that initial hypertrophy and then lead to strength gains down the road. But long story short, he needs it. So. Home stretch. Take a breath. Big drive, big drive, big drive. There it away, that away. All right, 20 seconds. Come on. Keep it tight. Take a breath, narrow up your feet. Narrow up your feet. Come on, big drive. Let's go, Jimmy. Big drive, big drive, big drive. Finish, that away. You got eight minutes to get two sets done. As you can see, that was pretty challenging. Those last two sets, um, set number nine, ended up having to bail. Hey dude, you gotta get this on your own. I'm not spotting you. 
Let's go. No bailing. Let's go, Jimmy. Get real with it. Come on. Come on. Big drive. Good. Take a breath. Stay under it. A little bit faster. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Drive, drive, drive. It's all right. We probably needed to keep the brakes between a little longer. We had started to shorten the brakes between sets. Uh, so, but knew how to safely bail out of that. It's funny, something in my head, I was talking to Ashley the other day about two short adventure books. But you may not even remember those, but they were books where you get to a certain point and you'd be like, oh, you can go in the cave or you can go down the path. If you went down the cave, it was a dragon that ate you. And so, and I was just in the thing, I was like, all right, here's your two short adventure book, Jimmy. You either, one of these reps don't go well, or you fight through it and you finish this thing like a fucking champ. And I'm like, I don't even like thinking that because you give yourself an option in your head. Like that's what I'm like, how do you get rid of that? Got the made up makeup rep. And then even that last set, as you can see, that last one, uh, my midline kind of broke, my back rounded a little bit. Um, so before you leave me a bunch of comments and tell me about how my form sucked in the last one, um, you go do 10 sets of three reps of 85% of your max and come back. Girl, choose your own adventure. One rep? One rep. A little makeup set here, let's go. Come on. Good. That's more like it, good. And maybe your max is a lot more than mine, I don't know, man. Uh, ever since I started this, I called it Project No Ego. That it wasn't about you know, bowing up against some other dude or being the strongest dude in the place. It was getting out of my comfort zone and stretching my limits. And this definitely has done that. I said the only reason I'm like, okay, no spots because I need a video guy. <laughs> Maybe because you're not a bitch. I might need a tripod. Get it. Here we go. Let's go. 10. Nine. Eight. Come on. Let's go, Jimmy. Last set, come on. Heels, a little bit lower, let's go. Good, come on, one more, one more, one more. Finish it, finish it. Drive, 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 drive! Out of way. Woo! Hey, rock and roll, baby. I have no history, and you know, I didn't play football growing up. I wasn't in great shape in high school, so at 40 years old, I'm in the best shape of my life right now, and this is my best. Uh, and so four days of pretty heavy squatting this week on top of all the other things that I do, um, using my beach body on demand, body beast, uh, my running clubs. Uh, you know, I keep my workouts pretty varied. So, Small Love Junior, week one in the books. Um, I'm sure my ass will hurt a lot tomorrow as I travel. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of update you on the journey. What I would love is two things, man. If, um, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it because I'm, I'm really putting a lot of effort in to making these videos more consistently. And number two, let me know in the comments a way that you're getting out of your comfort zone this year. And I would love to know what that is and how I can encourage you. Ma'am, thanks for the subscription. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Coach Jimmy.